The new frontier of global conflict shifts beneath the waves, where submarine cables, the essential conduits of the world's Internet, weave an intricate web on the ocean floor. Nestled thousands of meters beneath the surface, this expansive network channels more than 98% of international data traffic. Four out of 20 cables under the Red Sea that provide global Internet and telecommunications have been cut as the waterway remains a target of Yemen's Houthi rebels, as per media reports. The cut lines include Asia Africa Europe 1, the Europe India Gateway, SeaCom, and Taja and Gulf, Hong Kong based. HGC Global Communications said in its report, it described the cuts as affecting 25% of the traffic flowing through the Red Sea. It also described the Red Sea's route as crucial for data moving from Asia to Europe and said it had begun rerouting traffic. The TDN Gulf Channel belongs to Tata Communications as per the submarine cable tracking website and runs 4031 Kintpoers. Asia Africa Europe 1 runs over 3,000 Kibwenes along and has Reliance Geo as one of its major investors while Seacom and Europe India Gateway both run 15,000 kilometers long, with Tata Communications and Vodafone as their major investors respectively. However, there has been mounting evidence about the cables being targeted in the Houthi campaign, which the rebels describe as an effort to pressure Israel to end its war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. The Houthis have denied attacking the lines, but take responsibility for the attacks on the merchant vessels. Officials from the Pentagon told that they were attempting to find out if the cables had been sabotaged or if it was the result of an anchor dragging along the seafloor. Maritime experts believe subsea cables can also be cut by anchors, including those dropped from some of the ships that have been disabled in attacks. A drifting ship with its anchor scraping the sea could be one of the potential reasons. Another emerging theory posits that the cables are being cut to sabotage the networking lines by the Houthis. The cables are not very thick but encapsulated in watertight sheets. They lie in the deep ocean and are not easy to cut. It can very well understood that Yemenis should not have the capability to dive down that deep to physically damage cables. For the Houthis, executing a submarine operation to descend to the ocean floor and sabotage underwater cables would require significant expertise and technical capability involving skilled divers for the underwater operation. Two weeks ago, the bulk carrier Lebanese operated Rubemur sank with 21,000 metric tons of ammonium phosphate, sulfate fertilizer, on board near the Gulf of Aden, according to a central command. An analysis of the location of the sinking vessel with the layout of subcable zone can give an idea of how the Houthis are responsible for such an attack. However, commercial ships sometimes lose their anchors, which then also cut cables.